welcome to my youtube channel i'm your entrepreneurship tutor professor henry buisa of jomo kenyatta university of agriculture and technology today i'm going to talk about family business succession management yes looks like a family here from the great great grandparent to great great grandchildren this is uh, a russian drawing a russian uh, art now today in the morning somebody wrote on a wall that i belong the bukus caucus wall and he said in response to some issue that had been discussed and he says maybe what we could start investigating is why those who made their shillings among us didn't keep that shilling in their families for three generations as in the rich guys of bungoma of the 70s never made an impact on the 80s new rich guys emerged in that decade that dwindled the 90s gave us a new set of rich guys. They also left the sea. 2000s wealth, wealthy are paupers today. We must start wondering aloud and finding out why so that the shilling we are making today can last in our families up to our great grandchildren. Yes, I wrote I read this and I retorted. I answered. I teach family business and succession management, and that's my petty project now. Black Kenyans tend to be weak in succession management compared to Asian and European Kenyans. And one of my preliminary observations is culture. Hofstede's cultural dimensions, including the issue of power distance, is a contributor. And yet another contributor to the caucus wrote a simple answer to your concern how many of us here on this forum let our own wives and children into what we do do we acquaint them with the intricacies of commerce and investment do your children ever come to your work place okay to your workplace or business to understand what it takes to be up there and remain grinding? Have many of us chased or reprimand our children for showing at our businesses? It's all about molding. Business is a culture. It's a matter of inculcating it continually from a tender age. This is my humble take. Of course, it's he reckoned that there are some small typos even as I read. Now, this provoked me to say something on family planning succession planning or family business succession planning since I am now teaching this unit at the university level. And before I just go there, yes, research in 2019 Deloitte and Dutch says majority of family-owned businesses in Kenya lack any clear long-term succession plans, with 24% of them completely clueless. And the chairman of the Association of Family Business Enterprises in Kenya in this year says about 60% of wealth in family businesses are lost in Africa due to improper structures and failures by owners to put in place succession plans. Yes, so family business succession planning is an issue in Kenya and indeed in Africa. Like a colleague has said, family business succession is a process, it's not an event. It occurs over a period of time, like we've been told by one of our colleagues. Therefore, parents should begin to lay the groundwork for succession while their children are still small. But how? By the way 
in which they talk about the business at home. It is therefore unwise to wait until your child graduates and you expect this child to come and take over the business. Succession is a process. It's not an event. The goal is succession, but it is step by step towards that goal. Yes, if you want succession management to succeed, you must have specific goals. And those goals must be measurable. They must be positive. They must be realistic. And then the goals must be paired with action. And they have to be flexible. Of course, none of us can predict the future with 100% certainty. So they can change. So, as a parent, start by laying out a family vision and goals. Think about the future of your plumbing business, for example. How will its continued success be? Will it go to the family members, existing employees, or will you sell it? So, as you set up your business, think of that. Elevation. How do you want it to be? when you go off the sea. So, goals are important. And then, always scrap every moment to talk about the historical, cultural, and the strategic foundations of the business. It's very useful for the children to be aware of the forms and the pinnings of the underlying principles that hold the enterprise together. Yes, at breakfast table, anywhere, when you, there is a chance, let the children know about this business. Let them even know that it's the business that's putting that breakfast on the table. Yes, have family meetings. Like a member of this forum has said, how many of us hold those meetings? Yes. Of course, good communication among your own family members is essential. Sometimes, Productive communication occurs spontaneously and sometimes you need to plan for it. At a family meeting, the whole family gets together to discuss an important matter. Sometimes it is best to hold these meetings at an outside neutral location such as a resort or a restaurant, but sometimes it is best to sit around the kitchen table. Yes. How many of us have those meetings just talking about us as a family the past the current and the future and if you have business talk about that business how the business has helped us as a family meet all our obligations expenses and so on and so forth talking about it helps implant the family the business into the family minds. Yes, indeed, like a colleague has said, it pays to occasionally bring the kids to your business office. They will develop the business culture. I remember when I was growing up, my uncle had a business in town. But we, kids and children, were not allowed even to go near the counter. We are not allowed even to count the money, to see the money. Because the idea was, if you get used to money, we shall become thieves. And surprisingly, our next door Asian uh, shopkeepers and the business people were allowing their own children to get acquainted with the business at an early stage. Now, present the business as an option and not an obligation. How many of us want to force our kids? Force them into the business. Some parents take it as given that their children will automatically join the family businesses. Wrong. But many actually get disappointed. Other parents never bring up the subject because they don't want to pressure their children. So they think, again, wrong. The key is to present 
the business as an opportunity. Family business is an opportunity and not as an obligation. Yes, hire children into your existing jobs and let them work with or work with or under mentors. Let them not work directly at you. The mentor, the experienced and long-serving employees, not yourself. That mentoring, the freedom that the children will mix, ask, and but when they work under you, the chances are that they'll be fearing you because of the paternalistic tendencies in our society. Sometimes we say children and the women are there to be seen and not to be heard. And therefore, you'll be doing a disservice to yourself if you bring in your child and you say directly under you. I'm not saying that every situation is so, but it pays. Bring them on board. Let them work on somebody else and grow in the business. Now, while in the business, designate an area of responsibility. Keep your son or a daughter his or her own area of responsibility. It should be well defined, that responsibility. It could be a certain department. It could be handling the advertising. It could be managing personnel. As your child gains the inexperience and competency, increase the number of areas of responsibility. By giving pieces of the business, you will be working towards a smooth succession. Next, now that you have employed them, you have observed them, choose successors that align with business vision and goals. You have observed them. It's not, it may not be that every child will likely align with the vision and goals. We say don't force. Now, your successor may run the business differently. Use different methods. Rely on different best practices. But if the goals are aligned, then the business can still succeed. Because if you bring on board your child, any successor, but the goals are not uh, aligned, then the business will wobble and probably even die. Now, please let go. So many founders, so many parents at the end of the transition process are known to say, well, I was wrong. We are not going to be able to complete the transition this year after all. Some even decide that they want to come back to the business two or even three years after they left. We have seen it happen in Kenya. We have seen big businesses. One where the father held on the business for so long, when he was nearly dying, is when he let the, the son come on board. But the experience, the son did have an experience, actually that business was sold, was sold outside Kenya. So what we're saying is succession, family business succession is a process. Slowly and slowly. It is not true that every child will want to be a successor. But try it. If, like a colleague said, it's a culture. Business is a culture. When you instill it and nurture it, it grows and the likelihood that therefore there will be the business will pass on to the next generation and to the other generation are increased. So, if we're going to blame anybody for lack of succession, then let's blame ourselves. And let's not be over defensive. So, these are little steps. I have my book, Entrepreneurship Theory and Practice, The Kenyan Perspective, and I have a flow diagram of a guide to how to plan succession from your family. There are options that probably not every child will be able to fit 
but then succession management does not mean that only members of the family should succeed even an outsider can do it we shall be talking about more of this later so if you enjoyed it like it share subscribe and if you feel like you want to support us bring more then you can donate just follow go to that website and follow the direction of donate or simply chip in something at 547-6465 this will enable us bring more of this information uh, we, we, we share so if you wish if you feel like supporting us please do it but we are saying family business succession management is important like the person who talked first why are our businesses what our current business people when they die they die with the business we can reverse that thank you